from Apple Valley News Now. First alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Good Wednesday morning. We are continuing to track this lone rock fire that started in Gillum County. It's now since spread into Wheeler County and in Morrow County. In fact, it looks like the most active of the fire perimeter right now is in Morrow County. This thing is now approaching 65,000 acres, just 1% contained. We still have level three evacuations in place from the West County line of Morrow County along Buttermilk Canyon to Highway 207 and then from milepost 10 south of Hardman to the South Moro County line. Also level two evacuations still in place from Hardman to the South Moro County line. This is where you need to be packed and ready to leave at a moment's notice. We'll pivot now to weather weather real quick. Let's talk about some temperatures as we are in the 60s and 70s for the most part. A very mild start. Also we are tracking some showers, even a little bit of lightning embedded within this and all time out the rain and thunderstorm chances for the rest of today coming up on Good Morning Northwest, which starts right now. Right now on Good Morning Northwest, a fire that starts on the patio of a home quickly make it, makes its way inside, seriously damaging the home. We have what firefighters are saying. A call for a weapons report turns into a SWAT standoff in Zilla. We have details on what happened. And a fire we first told you about yesterday burns over 800 acres in Franklin County. We have the details. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. And I'm Jill Sperling. It is Wednesday, July 17th. Now, mm. Jessica, we, we made it midway, midway yes. to the week. Do you Almost usually there. feel more tired uh, Wednesday, or do you feel like, okay, we've gotten over the hill? It's a wild card every mm -hmm. single day. Sometimes, you know, on a Monday, I'm tired. Sometimes I'm wide awake. It just, it always depends on the schedule. What about for really you? Does. Yeah, it depends on the week. Sometimes yeah. Wednesdays are like, oh, okay, this has been a long week. And then other yeah. times I'm like, oh, it's Wow, it's felt like a long week this week for sure. This week has felt a little I bit longer. I'm drinking that. a little bit extra coffee every morning. Oh yeah, I need yeah. that too. And I'll fill that up after we get to your top stories <laughs> this morning. So we start off with the fire in West Richland that tore through the Service Master Restore building on Dodge Street behind Brickhouse Pizza. It started around five o'clock last night. There were no injuries, but Benton County Fire District 4 Chief Paul Carlisle says the truss was starting to go through the roof from the fire. Firefighters accessed the attic with a ladder truck and cut a hole in the roof to get a hold of the fire. There are chemicals in the building, but Chief Carlisle says those did not pose any threat. He says there's a lot of damage, smoke damage to things inside the building. Benton County Fire Districts 2 and 4 responded along with Richland Fire and Emergency Services and the Kennewick Fire Department. He says no other buildings were at risk. A fire also broke out in Kennewick last night in this home in the area of South Everett Place and South Fruitland Street. This one started around 530. Fire officials say it began in the patio area of the home. The heat caused windows to break and the fire made its way inside, damaging the house. The deputy chief with Kennewick Fire Department says a quick response was key to getting the fire under control. Always want to remind the, the public if you see something, say something. Early uh, notification to us gets early uh, response and early water on the fire. Definitely want to make sure that uh, we keep flammable uh, materials away from uh, potential ignition sources. Uh, not suggesting that's the, the cause of this fire, but uh, just a good reminder. He also suggests homeowners make sure there is defensible space around their house. No one was injured in the fire and the cause is under investigation. In a follow up to news we brought you yesterday, a little over 800 acres has burned in Franklin County following a fire near the lower monumental dam. According to Franklin County Fire District 2, the fire is no longer burning. The fire mostly took place in grass and brush, but threatened crops, power and homes. The fire chief says the cause of the fire has not yet been determined. It's under investigation. They think maybe it was a campfire, but we're not, they're still investigating. Fire districts from all around Franklin County assisted along with the Colotus volunteers in Adams County. State fire assistance was also mobilized, and the fire chief tells us there were two helicopters helping out. The fire started Monday around 2.20 p.m., but we're told state assistance was cleared around midnight. No injuries or damages came out of this fire. The fire chief says it mostly, it's mostly pasture land and a few fences that burned. 
We continue to track the Lone Rock Fire in Oregon. This is near the southwest corner of Morrow County. It's already burned around 65,000 acres since it started on July 13th. Hundreds of firefighters from all over the state of Oregon are working to get the fire under control. The Northwest Interagency Coordination Center gave an update yesterday on just how many large wildfires there are in both Oregon and Washington. If you take a look at this map in our immediate viewing area, crews are only battling the Lone Rock Fire in Morrow and Umatilla counties. And as for the entire state of Washington, there are just two fires, but in Oregon, crews are battling eight fires, including the Lone Rock Wildfire. In a crime alert now, a 65 year old man is behind bars after a SWAT standoff at the 1000 block of Shine Road. This happened near Zilla on Monday, according to the Yakima County Sheriff's Office. YCSO deputies, as well as several other law enforcement agencies, responded to the incident. It was initially a weapons offense report. Deputies say they were told the man had gotten into a fight with another adult at the home and pointed a gun at them, making threats to kill them. According to a press release, the victim and another person in the home were able to get out of the house before law enforcement got there. Deputies contained the suspect within the home, but the man refused to comply with deputies. That's when Yakima Valley Regional SWAT was called in, and after a brief standoff, he was taken into custody. He was given medical treatment before being booked into the Yakima County Jail for the alleged offenses of assault in the first degree, domestic violence, also felony harassment, and resisting arrest. There's a delay when it comes to opening the new Tri-Cities Animal Shelter in Pasco. The shelter manager says this project has been in the works going on 10 years. The new facility will be directly next door to the old one. Due to setbacks like ordering supplies, the grand opening is looking to be in December now instead of August like originally planned. It's coming down to the end. Right now they're doing uh, some final touch-ups to it before um, they sign it over to the city. Ordering supplies, the, the furniture, pictures, and equipments, um, getting the vendors on board, getting those ordered. We didn't really have a place to store them. We had to wait until we get control of the building. The current building was built back in the 1950s. This week, another popular shelter is celebrating their 57th year serving the community. Happy the Benton birthday to you. Lovely happy birthday there. Well, the Benton Franklin Humane Society in Kennewick is celebrating its 57th birthday. The shelter says it looks forward to continuing the mission for many more years to come. Over the weekend, people who stopped by the shelter took advantage of a reduced adoption event of just 1967 for most adult pets. The shelter says to keep track of their social media pages for more birthday celebrations and specials all month long. Vista Field is growing. Earlier this month, the Port Commissioners approved a 90-day right to negotiate with Columbia Point Eye Care Clinic to open an eye care business onto the Vista Field Phase 1 plan. This is to be a 7,000 square foot building which will serve as their eye care clinic. They're also planning to build in about 1,500 square feet of tent space for a business to rent out from the eye care clinic. The director of real estate for the Port of Kennewick says this new addition is all about the accessible community plan of Vista Field. We've talked about a lot of the different residential opportunities out here and medical is a key use out here as well as uh, restaurants and retail and boutiques and you know different kinds of service businesses. Medical is a desired use so you know you can live out here and walk to your eye doctor and go have some coffee or lunch right after you know and do that all within a walkable community. As of right now, the eye clinic is in its design phase, but Vista Field Phase 1 is now about 40% sold in its Phase 1 parcels. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's a great big ball of fire. NASA confirms a meteor flew over the New York City area yesterday morning. We have the video you don't want to miss. The first chief meteorologist Josh Colbreth will have your full weather forecast. Good morning, Northwest. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Hello, Shelby. Hello, Mariano. Upload Mrs. Robinson's case. Processing. Is there any new information? The insurance offer is too low. Should I ask for more? You know, when they hear from the heavy hitter, they'll pay much more. The heavy hitter is one for you. Call 853-2222. Are you suffering from stomach pain, a sprained ankle, or does your child have cold or flu-like symptoms? When sudden illness or minor injuries occur, Astrea Rapid Care is here for you. 
Our providers can see you right away with no appointment necessary. Astrea Rapid Care is the place for minor emergencies, sprains, cuts, and more, with convenient locations in Prosser, Sunnyside, and Toppenish. Astrea Health, exceptional rural health care close to home. Whether you're most at home surrounded by lots of friends, hanging with your one best friend for an afternoon cruise, or... Ah, <laughs> no way! Not a chance. Uh, could you show us something with a little less horsepower? I was thinking the same thing. At McCurley, we're here to help you find the vehicle that's right for you. Because it's your way home. Find your way home in a Mazda certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Mazda. You know the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, it doesn't have to be an apple. Wellness looks different for everyone. It looks like this. And this. And whatever this is. It's really that simple. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, where do I sign up for this? All that matters is you're taking a step towards the healthier you. Inside and out. Find your apple. Welcome to Premier Woodworks, your premier source for custom cabinetry and full-service interior design. Our custom designs are brought to life with 3D images to help you visualize the final result. Our high-quality cabinetry is crafted with care and attention to detail. From kitchen and bath design to remodel project management, we're here to make your dream space a reality. Premier Woodworks, located at 109 North Washington Street in Kennewick. Hello, Shelby. Hello, Mariano. Upload Mrs. Robinson's case. Processing. Is there any new information? The insurance offer is too low. Should I ask for more? You know, when they hear from the heavy hitter, they'll pay much more. The heavy hitter is one for you. Call 853-2222. Good morning, Northwest. Streams all day at AppleValleyNewsNow.com and our mobile apps. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We have several things going on today weather-wise, including some hazy conditions, including some lightning in the forecast. Also, it's going to be very hot for today, but for now, we're going to focus on some of the haze. Just moderate air quality for right now. We were tracking some unhealthy air quality yesterday, specifically in portions of Moro and Umatilla counties, just given the proximity to the Lone Rock fire. So we'll go ahead and, and we'll put this into motion. This is 12 p.m., and you'll know Notice just some light haze for the most part, but we continue putting this into motion. Maybe some thicker haze starting to get into portions of Walla Walla County now because of some adjacent fires to there. Also some thicker smoke once again into Morrow or Umatilla County. So that's going to be the cycle for today. The cycle for tomorrow is going to be a little bit different. We continue to put this into motion around lunchtime. Still some light haze across the map, but you'll notice into the late evening winds kick up out of the west looks like our air quality should improve. Speaking of air quality, there's an air quality alert still in place for Morrow County and Umatilla County. This runs until 12 p.m. today. We'll see what the Oregon DEQ decides to do with this. Pivoting back to the Tri-Cities, we will have a little chance of some showers today, maybe even some thunderstorms embedded within that. And of course, that spells trouble when it comes to the potential of fire starts. So for today, hot, hazy, and thunderstorms. I'll time out the thunderstorms with Futurecast coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Josh. Check this out now. A big boom made more than a few people in New York look up and take notice yesterday afternoon. Here's ABC's Brianna and Allie with the details. This is the moment Judah Bergman says he saw a fireball shoot across the sky in New Jersey. It was long and really, really fast. It looked like a flaming long rod or something like on fire and flying through the sky. NASA now confirming a fireball flew over the New York City area yesterday morning, a small meteor traveling 38,000 miles per hour. And something when it's moving that fast, of course, heats up and it begins to ablate, you know, just like a spacecraft reentering the atmosphere and it produces a lot of light and it generates what we call fireball. NASA says the meteor originated above New York City and passed over the Statue of Liberty before disintegrating above New Jersey. 
You expect to see a meteor at night, not during the day, so this was a rare daylight fireball. Although Bergman didn't hear a loud boom when he saw the fireball, others did. Stephen Bradley was with his cat and dog. There was the initial boom, and then like less than a second after that, there was a tremble of the house. I have a dog, a golden retriever, and a cat, both of which the golden retriever jumped out of his skin and the cat just darted under the sofa. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York. NASA says the loud noises and shaking people heard may have been related to military activity in the area, not the meteor. But in some more space-related news, so if there's life on Venus, they now have some good music. NASA says it transmitted Missy Elliott's song, The Rain, also called Supa Dupa Fly, to Venus via radio antennas. It took nearly 14 minutes for the song to travel about 158 million miles to the planet of love. Elliot posted to social media about the feat, saying, quote, The sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. The artist plays with space iconography in her work often, something NASA nodded to in a statement about the transmission. Elliot has been receiving long due recognition here on Earth, and in 2019, the rapper became the first woman hip hop artist to be inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Four years later, she became the first female rapper to be inducted into um, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, Washington is the largest producer of sweet cherries in the country, and fresh cherry season is well underway. When we come back, we look at how one family-owned cherry business is doing. Keep it here. We'll be back in just a few minutes. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DOE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Dear Unbreakable Spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend, Toyota Trucks. Right now, you can lease a new 2024 Tacoma for just $389 per month. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Attention all Hanford and PNNL workers and contractors. Join United Energy Workers Healthcare for a free lunch and learn resource fair on Friday, July 19th at the Three Rivers Convention Center in Kenwick from 11 to 2 p.m. You may qualify for additional healthcare benefits and financial compensation. Learn more at our free lunch and learn resource fair on Friday, July 19th at the Three Rivers Convention Center in Kenwick from 11 to 2 p.m. Looking for high quality and low prices? Then Furniture Row's Super 7 Day Sale is for you. That's seven days to find huge savings on sofas and sectionals, accent chairs and recliners, dining groups, bar stools, bedrooms and kids' beds, mattresses and adjustable bases. Complete the look with our massive selection of rugs and accessories or score no interest financing until January 2029. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. But don't wait. The Super 7 Day Sale at Furniture Row ends Thursday the 18th. Have you ever had a day like this? Bad days are why we got in the game. Kapuza Lighty, Accident Injury Lawyers. Visit us at our new urban wine bar in historic downtown Kennewick. Choose from a variety of wines and food from our expanded menu. Enjoy time with friends old and new. After hours with riverfront views from our shaded patio, we are Murray Gaston Wine Bar. Hello there. Watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In your business headlines this morning, Bledsoe Wine Estates made a big announcement yesterday. Officials announced plans for a new tasting room in the southern region of Walla Walla Valley for its Bledsoe family winery. The new tasting room will be located off Peppers Bridge Road. Construction begins in spring 2025. The new tasting room comes on the heels of the opening of its Bledsoe McDaniels Winery in Oregon's Willamette Valley last spring. 
Well, Washington is the largest producer of sweet cherries in the nation, and fresh cherry season is now underway in the Yakima Valley. Fresh cherries are fragile, so their short season is a busy time for family-owned Chucker Cherries, the only commercial dehydrator of sweet cherries in the state. This year, Chucker Cherries will process more than half a million pounds of Washington cherries for use in their treats. The director of domestic promotions at Northwest Cherries says 2024 has been a great season and the size and sugars are outstanding. SpaceX founder Elon Musk has announced he plans to move the company's headquarters from California to Texas. Musk says he made the decision after California Governor Gavin Newsom signed legislation that prevents school employees from notifying parents if students request to use different pronouns. Musk says the new transgender law was the, quote, final straw. He also announced plans to move the headquarters of his social media company X from San Francisco to Austin, Texas, for the same reason. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, yesterday we talked about the singer who went viral for her rendition of the national anthem Sunday night at the Home Run Derby. But she has released a statement explaining what happened. That's coming up in your entertainment news. Looking for high quality and low prices? Then Furniture Row's Super 7 Day Sale is for you. That's seven days to find huge savings on living, dining, bedroom, and mattresses. Or get no interest until January 2029. The Super 7 Day Sale, on now at Furniture Row. Welcome to Premier Woodworks, your premier source for custom cabinetry and full service interior design. Our custom designs are brought to life with 3D images to help you visualize the final result. Our high quality cabinetry is crafted with care and attention to detail. From kitchen and bath design to remodel project management, we're here to make your dream space a reality. Premier Woodworks, located at 109 North Washington Street in Kennewick. July is Ultraviolet Safety Month. Protect your skin from harmful UV rays by wearing sun protective clothing. There's more information at applevalleynewsnow.com. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health. Learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. Meet Fat Beam Fiber, the fastest growing fiber provider in the West. With over 150,000 fiber miles across 150 cities and eight states, we offer reliable internet and top tier service to business, government, healthcare, education, and residential customers. From dedicated internet access to wireless backup, our team ensures 99.99% uptime and superior connectivity. Trust Fatbeam Fiber to expand network capabilities and protect your data. Discover more and request a quote at fatbeamfiber.com. Exmark mowers were born to deliver legendary reliability, signature cut quality, and stubborn durability that refuses to give in. Because like you, Exmark mowers were built for this. Save big on Exmark Vertex mowers. Take advantage of instant rebates and bonus fleet discounts for a limited time only. Experience the difference. Liberty Lawn and Saw on Van Giesen in West Richland. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes, that could be why the big truck hits you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck, heavy hit. Call 853-2222. At Denver Mattress, we're all about that sleep life. And during the Super 7 Day Sale, everything is on sale. Like the Queen Size Summit, now only $299.99. Or get no interest until January 2029. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. Good Morning Northwest streams all day at AppleValleyNewsNow.com and our mobile apps. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colberth. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We are tracking this area of showers now in Gillum County. It, it's moving into Morrow County. Hopefully we can get some rainfall out of this falling on the perimeter of the Lone Rock Fire. Let's show you what happens a little bit later in the day with future casts. We put this in a motion and, and this is right around lunchtime. You see just a few scattered showers, maybe even some thunderstorms on the map. Looks like a lot of this gets out of here by about 5 p.m. but still on the fringes of the viewing area, especially around the mountains. That's where we 
we have the best chance of lightning for today. And because we have the chance for lightning over very dry fuels, and I'll show you just how dry some of these fuels are coming up a little bit later in the show, but there will be a pretty significant risk of fire starts for today, which is why the National Weather Service in Pendleton elected to go with a red flag warning up until 5 p.m. for this evening. So for today, it's going to be a hot one out there. We're going to be right around 100 degrees for the Yakima and the Kittitas Valleys, right around 105 for the lower Columbia Basin, and then right around 100 for the foothills of the Blue Mountains. For tonight, looks like most of us are either going to be in the 60s or 70s. Could have some winds picking up in the Kittitas Valley, upwards of 25 miles per hour. See, temperatures are going to hold pretty steady through about Saturday and then Sunday getting a, a, a little bit hotter than the rest of these days here up around 110 degrees. So just given that it will be so hot, the National Weather Service in Pendleton has gone with an excessive heat warning for the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys until 10 p.m. on Thursday. And then for the rest of the region, well, for the Blue Foot, excuse me, for the Blue Foothills, this goes until 10 p.m. today. And then for the Lower Columbia Basin, this goes until 10 p.m on Thursday and of course we're, we're tracking that thunderstorm chance for today. Looks like we'll have some more into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, albeit small chances. Here's a seven day forecast for the Tri Cities. A little thunderstorm chance for today. Then after that, a whole lot of heat. Then for Yakima, also a little thunderstorm chance for today. We'll track another one into Monday and look at Sunday up around 105 degrees. For Hermiston, we'll be around 105 for today kind of holding steady around that through Sunday. A little bit cooler back into the 90s for Monday and Tuesday. And then for Walla Walla, triple digits over the next couple of days, watching some of that haze and smokes from, from some of the adjacent fires out that way. And of course, we're, we're very concerned about the lightning for today as well. All right, thank you so much, Josh. Well, in entertainment news, it is Emmy time again. So this morning, the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences will unveil its nominations for TV's most prestigious awards. So the period drama Shogun and the anxiety-inducing comedy The Bear, I've not seen that one, they're both <laughs> expected to have a big day along with Netflix's Baby Reindeer. So nominees will be announced live at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time, so that's about 8.30 our time. It'll be streamed on the Academy's website and YouTube channel. Winners will be unveiled at the television gala on September 15th. As for who will host this year's award ceremony, that has yet to be announced. Okay, so we all have to go to bed a little bit too early to catch those awards, so we catch all the highlights the next morning. Exactly. Do you guys have a favorite show that you're hoping wins some awards? Ooh, I don't really know. I haven't been watching a lot yeah. of TV, to be honest. Maybe House I, of the Dragon. I I've love heard really good so things far. about the bear. I watched yeah. a couple episodes mm -hmm. of The Bear. I, I liked it. I'm not sure if I liked it enough to watch more than mm, a couple too episodes. Too much anxiety inducing. It's just, <laughs> I, I'm with Jill. I just don't watch that much TV oh, anymore. Right. Yeah. Okay, I think it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yesterday, everyone knows, after yesterday, everyone knows who the singer Ingrid Andres is, unfortunately. She went viral online after her poor rendition of the national anthem at the Home Run Derby, and that was Sunday night. So the country singer-songwriter posted to her social media yesterday saying she's checking herself into rehab. She says in part, quote, I was drunk last night. I'm checking myself into a facility today to get the help I need. She also goes on to say, quote, that was not me last night. I apologize to MLB, all the fans and this country. I love so much for that rendition. She ended the note saying she would, quote, let y'all, very Texas, know how rehab is. I hear it's super fun. Aww. I hope she doesn't try to sing Amy Winehouse's rehab song Aww. while she's there. Or yeah. maybe she well, should. I hope she wrinkle. gets the help she needs yes. for sure. Yes. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest at 530, do you or someone you know have a nonprofit or want to start one? Well, if the answer is yes, we have how you can apply for a grant. Details just ahead. Plus, the battle between the state of Washington and the Catholic Church continues. Emily Goodell has the latest developments. We'll be right back. First, here are your Tech Bites. In today's Tech Bites, major tech companies are under fire. Apple, NVIDIA, and Anthropic reportedly used transcripts from over 173,000 YouTube videos to train AI models without permission. This revelation raises concerns about data usage in AI development. 
Next, Uber is making travel planning easier this summer. The company now allows users to search average fares and wait times in 10,000 cities worldwide. Uber says this new feature will help take the guesswork out of travel. Finally, streaming soared to new heights in June. Nielsen reports that streaming services accounted for over 40% of American TV viewing, the highest ever recorded. YouTube led the pack with nearly 10% followed by Netflix at just over 8%. So does this mean the Netflix hit show, The Crown, will get royalties? Those are your tech bites. Have a great day. Hey, I'll give you $574 if you switch. For Gerald? Well, okay. So what about $574 for switching your home insurance to Allstate? Well, I try not to think about home insurance too complicated. Actually, Allstate can handle the switching for you. Just call them. It's that easy to save? Yep, and you get Allstate. Oh, well, that's a step up. <laughs> Goodbye, Gerald. Oh, check Allstate first and you could save hundreds. You're in good hands with Allstate. Soon after starting my career, I felt stuck. That's when I found National University. Enrolling at NU empowered me to build my dream career. To stay on top of my game, I need to keep up my energy. Cliff Bar is purposely crafted with 10 grams of protein and organic oats. Because the more good you put in, the more great you get out. Cliff, the most important ingredient is you. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Dalal. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Josh Colbert. All right, so you guys know how there's a day for everything, those national day Literally calendars. Everything. Well, today is World Emoji Day. Oh! So I was curious, do you guys have a favorite emoji that you use? Ooh, there are so many face emojis that I use. I use the, like, sad, like, anime mm -hmm. eyes a lot, you know, to get what I want. <laughs> Try to. Um, yeah, what, you want. Uh, <laughs> what about you? I really like the star eyes. Oh, yeah, I've it's, seen you use that quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. <laughs> just makes the mood good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. What about you? I like the fire emoji. Oh, mm. Ooh. Yeah. fire is a lot about you. <laughs> well, yeah. it's going to be a fire hot day today, mm -hmm. isn't it, Josh? Yes, it will be. And we're concerned about fire starts Ooh. as well. So maybe that emoji was in poor taste. I'm just kidding. Describing the weather. Sorry. <laughs> yes, we are already tracking some lightning for this morning. We'll go ahead and show you that on the radar in just a second. But First, you're taking a live look at the Columbia River. This view coming, uh, well, it's the, the view is atop the, or it's sponsored by the Legends Casino and Hotel. You can see some haze and some clouds already up in the sky for this morning. And of course, that makes sense given the fire, the huge fire that's burning down in Gillum and Morrow counties. So for this morning, temperatures fairly mild slash warm in the 60s or 70s. Now on to the little bit of lightning that we've already been tracking for this morning. Looks like some of the lightning has dissipated. Maybe this little cell is starting to weaken just a bit in Morrow County, which is which is good. It's good and bad news. It's good news that there's no more lightning, but it's kind of bad news because we need to squeeze as much rain as we can out of this, especially on top of that fire perimeter for the Lone Rock Fire. So here is the bottom line for today and really for the next couple of days. Keep things hot. It'll be a little smoky or hazy, and also the lightning chances prompting some dangerous fire weather. I'll expand more on that coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Josh. Well, we start off this half hour with an exclusive. State Attorney General Bob Ferguson hits a roadblock in his investigation into child sex abuse in the Catholic Church after a judge denied his request to enforce a subpoena against the Seattle Archdiocese. Ferguson's investigation focused on whether the Catholic Church used charitable funds to help cover up child sexual abuse. He issued subpoenas against the Yakima Diocese, the Seattle Archdiocese, and the Spokane Diocese. This for documents the church has not made public regarding the child sex abuse. Survivors and advocates are speaking out after a judge denied a petition to enforce the subpoena against the Seattle Archdiocese. What we care about is that this doesn't happen to another child. That's why we're doing what we're doing. We don't want any child to experience what we experienced. 
Coming up in our next hour, Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell spoke to the Catholic Church uh, Catholic Accountability Project and Yakima Diocese about what this means moving forward. In a follow-up now, the city of Sunnyside selected its new city manager after an executive session Tuesday night during the special meeting. So there were two things on the agenda for the meeting, evaluating the qualifications for the application for public employment and the city manager selection. The Sunnyside City Council offered the job to Mike Gonzalez after a unanimous vote contingent on him accepting the role and going through contract negotiations. Gonzalez did accept the offer and the goal is for the start date and contract signing date to be August 1st. And the city of Yakima has also selected its new city manager. Vicki Baker is the deputy director of the Yakima Valley Conference of Governments. She takes over as Yakima city manager on August 8th. The city council announced its selection at last night's meeting. In community news now, do you or someone you know want to start a nonprofit or already have one? Well, the Three Rivers Community Foundation 2024 grant is almost here and it's ready to be open for applicants. The grant is to help nonprofits that are part of the Benton or Franklin County area or that provide services to either of those counties. The application opens up July 31st and Three Rivers Community Foundation is holding two informational sessions about the application over Zoom. The first is today at noon and the next one is on July 24th. The CEO of the Three Rivers Community Foundation says this grant is all about supporting local nonprofits. It's about programs and projects that are helping in different parts of the community. And it can be anything from um, animal welfare to arts focused organizations. We fund um, nonprofits that provide uh, food insecurity support, housing, domestic violence, um, education, youth, just a, a really wide spectrum. Officials say that the average awarded grant to the recipients is about $4,000 and that the deadline to apply is September 16th. Nonprofits will be notified sometime in early November if they're selected. More out of Kennewick, the historic downtown Kennewick partnership, po uh, partnership rather, postponed its impact awards because of the extreme heat that we're getting. It was meant to take place on the 10th of this month, but it's now scheduled for September 18th at 6 p.m. The impact awards are a celebration of everything downtown. It honors businesses, volunteers and organizations all who help make downtown thrive. Now it was meant to be an outdoor event at the Kennewick Public Market, but the temperatures were just too hot. But it became 110 degrees, and that's a little too hot for us to do outside events safely. We actually do have a, a hot weather advisory um, policy, so anything is, that's hotter than 105 degrees is an automatic cancellation if we don't have an indoor alternative. And unfortunately, we didn't have one set up in July. Stephanie Button, the executive director of the historic downtown Kennewick Partnership, says they were able to reschedule to September 18th at the Kennewick Public Market. And there is an indoor contingency just in case everyone who bought tickets were able to move them to the new dates or receive a refund. Button also says tickets are still available to attend the event. You can find the link to those on our website. That's AppleValleyNewsNow.com. In political news now, additional members from former President Donald Trump's family are expected to attend the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Sources say that includes his wife and former First Lady Melania Trump, who has kept a low profile since the start of her husband's campaign. Also, his daughter Ivanka Trump and son-in-law Jared Kushner will be in attendance. Trump's two sons have been alongside their father since the start of the RNC. On Thursday night, Trump will formally accept the GOP nomination for president. And even more details are emerging about the gunman who attempted to assassinate former President Donald Trump. Law enforcement officials say 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks was scheduled to work last Saturday, but officials say he told his boss he needed the day off because he had something to do. He also told his co-workers he would see them the next day. At the rally venue, authorities say Crooks first aroused suspicion about three hours before the shooting when he passed through the magnet security carrying a rangefinder. Those binocular type devices are usually used by hunters or target shooters. Security personnel kept an eye on him until he left the secure area. Investigators are unsure where Crooks went next, but they suspect he went to his car to get his rifle. 
Law enforcement says Crooks gained access to the roof of the building where he launched his attack by climbing onto an air conditioning unit. He was seen by witnesses on the roof and one of the counter sniper teams on the scene. Sources say after the shooting, authorities found a bulletproof vest, three fully loaded magazines, and two remote controlled explosive devices in Crook's car. Investigators also discovered another bulletproof vest, another remote controlled explosive device, and a 3D printer at Crook's home. In Washington now, it's been a wild year for Washington law enforcement. Yes, and the latest animal chase involved a kangaroo. <laughs> the Pierce County Sheriff's Office says the animal escaped from a petting zoo and went on the run Sunday morning. Once people started calling 911, law enforcement officers were able to capture the kangaroo in about 15 minutes. What is it with the wild animal? I animals? don't know. It's <laughs> all in Washington. We had a zebra, a llama, I think. There were just so many animals. So many animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, a puppy that had a rough start is looking for their forever home. When we come back, we'll get to meet Sage with Mikey's Chance, who is described as a happy little dog. But first, Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert will have your full forecast. We'll be right back. Good Morning Northwest streams all day at AppleValleyNewsNow.com and our mobile apps. Audiologist Jennifer Wright is now caring for patients of all ages at Prosser Ear, Nose and Throat Center. Her services include audiological evaluations, hearing aid fittings, pediatric testing, cochlear implants and more. The effects of hearing loss can often be minimized with the correct diagnoses and proper treatment. To schedule an appointment with audiologist Jennifer Wright, call Prosser Ear, Nose and Throat Center at 509-786-5599 today. This is how we care. The Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. Amazing offers and a great selection of the best-selling trucks in America for 47 years. Ford F-Series, gas, hybrid, or all-electric. These are the deals you've been waiting for, so don't wait. Make it Ford. Make it yours. Make it now. Lease a 2024 F-150 STX Super Crew for just $399 a month. Only at your local Ford dealer. The savings continue with Bymart's latest savings book, including summer stock reduction savings. Save on a dozen ball canning jars, regular mouth jars, $11.99, wide mouth, $13.99. Save on blazer brass, 9mm ammo. A 50 count box is just $11.99. Plus save $50 on an Avanti 5 cubic foot chest freezer. Hot priced at $139.99. Save now with store-wide savings of up to 50% off during our summer stock reduction sale only at Bymart. See, you got yourself a new hat. Yep, had to. <laughs> Fired up to fire Biden. Now, yeah, well, first we got to deal with that congressman, Newhouse. That's easy. Not voting Newhouse. You know, he voted to impeach Trump. I'm not voting for no Newhouse. How about Jared Sessler? Sessler the vegan? Jared Sessler's a vegan. He's a vegan and he wants to tax our beef. There's only one choice. And there is only one choice, and that's Tiffany Smiley. Tiffany Smiley it is. And the I United like her. Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Meet Fat Beam Fiber, the fastest growing fiber provider in the West. With over 150,000 fiber miles across 150 cities and eight states, we offer reliable internet and top tier service to business, government, healthcare, education, and residential customers. From dedicated internet access to wireless backup, our team ensures 99.99% uptime and superior connectivity. Trust Fatbeam Fiber to expand network capabilities and protect your data. Discover more and request a quote at fatbeamfiber.com. At Columbia Basin Buildings and Sheds, we've got you covered. We offer a variety of buildings and sheds that come with a five-year limited warranty, free delivery, and setup. Whether you're ready to custom create your space or just need extra storage, we're here to help every step of the way. All in-stock buildings can be delivered within seven to 10 days and custom builds in three to four weeks. So what are you waiting for? Find your perfect building or shed today with Columbia Basin Buildings and Sheds in West Richland. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Today we have a red flag warning in place for pretty much the whole viewing area. It looks like a little slice of the Blue Mountains has been left out of this, but uh, I, I would not let your guard down if you were in the Blue Mountains either. And the main, the main prospect for fire starts today is going to be lightning over very dry fuels. So we, we've shown you some of the lightning with, with future casts. Now let's show you how 
dry some of these fuels are actually going to be. So here's today's fire fuel energy. This just suggests how dry the fire fuels are, how much energy they would have to offer up to a fire should, God forbid, a, a fire reach some of these fuels. And they are very dry for today. The fire fuel energy up into the 99th percentile compared to historical values, at least for Kittitas and Yakima counties. But the danger does not stop there as we're also into the 99th percentile for the lower Columbia Basin. This includes the Tri-City. And then for the Blue Mountains, up into the 97th percentile. And also there's plenty of lightning in the forecast here for today as well. So just some tips to abide by for today. Avoid tossing burning cigarettes on the ground. Although the, the main risk for today is lightning induced, still don't toss a burning cigarette on the ground. Don't park a hot vehicle and dry vegetation. And I gathered that fire evacuation kit now and you should already have done that if you're in that level two evacuation in southwestern Morrow County. But I will show you, uh, unfortunately, some more tough fire conditions as we head into the next seven days. That's going to be coming up in a few minutes. Well, now it is time to check out another pet on Operation Best Friend. That's right. Every Wednesday, we introduce you to a pet that's currently in the care of a local shelter. So today we're featuring a puppy that had a rough start in life, but Sage is now thriving and ready to be adopted. Hi, my name is Tammy. I am here with Sage. Sage is going to be with Mikey's Chance at the PetSmart adoption event this Saturday from 11 to 3. Miss Sage is Shih Tzu with a little bit of Chihuahua. Sage was found with no hair. We're doing a lot better now. Sage is about nine months old and she'll be joining about 80 other dogs and cats this Saturday at PetSmart from 11 to 3 with approximately eight or nine other shelters in the area that they will all be up for adoption. Well, Sage is like any little puppy. Sage is actually very happy to play with other dogs and cats. Loves to play, loves squeaky toys, to be petted and loved. Very unique looking little dog that loves to cuddle and um, would make a really wonderful forever friend. Sage is actually a parvo survivor, and even with that, Sage's favorite toys to play with are bones because we're fun and sassy and um, yeah, quite a survivor. Well, as you can tell, Sage loves to cuddle, but Sage also loves to go hiking and play, and Sage has the zoomies all the time, don't you? Yeah. So Sage would make a great partner for anybody that loves to hike and snuggle and just wants a loving dog, don't you? Yeah. So don't forget this Saturday from 11 to 3 at PetSmart on Canal Drive, Sage and 80 or so other dogs and cats will be there for adoption. And if you adopt Sage, you'll get a $50 gift card from Paws Natural Pet Emporium. So, so sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh, my face the entire time was just dying at her. She's so cute. Oh. Sassy and fun. I know, and, loves yeah. to hike, loves to snuggle. <laughs> Sounds like so many dating profiles, at least from what I remember. And she'll be a good match for someone. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> well, up next on Good Morning Northwest, ballots are being mailed today in Benton County. This is for the August 6th primary election. That and more of your top local headlines are up next. It's all coming up in your 5 o'clock morning sprint. Keep it right here. If you're hurt at work, your life can go into a downward spiral. You're injured. You can't work. Your bills are piling up. But winning workers' comp benefits isn't easy. You're the underdog. We'll fight laboring industries to get you the workers' compensation benefits you deserve. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411 for a free consultation. Bothwell and Hamill. These are real people seeking solutions to real problems. I have plantar fasciitis. Pain with my feet, my knees. Feet, knees, hips, and back. And then they were fit with Good Feet Arch Supports. I definitely feel the heel to toe walk. I'm not feeling any pain, especially in my heel. That's that's where I always feel it. And I don't feel the knee pain. I didn't notice any pain in my back. I feel like I could walk all day in these. Oh, you're a blessing in disguise. Try them for yourself with a free art support fitting at the Good Feet Store. 
nights, we spend a third of our lives sleeping. Shouldn't we try to get the best sleep possible? That's why Denver Mattress is all about that sleep life. And during the Super 7 Day Sale, everything is on sale. Like the budget-friendly Summit Queen, easy on the wallet for only $299.99. Get a $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic or get no interest until January 2029 and free shipping. Improve your sleep life one night at a time, only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. Tiffany Smiley is not who she says she is. Tiffany Smiley started a PAC claiming to raise money to support conservative candidates but contributions were funneled to pay off her own million dollar campaign debt. Of the almost $800,000 she raised, only $24,800 went to candidates. Instead, Tiffany used the money on luxury travel and to try to pay off her massive debt. Tiffany Smiley deceived her donors. Don't let her deceive you. I'm Dan Newhouse and I approve this message. Our new orthopedic regenerative medicine clinic with Prosser Memorial Health orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Jeffrey B. Higgs, is now offering a variety of treatments, including platelet-rich plasma injections to enhance injury recovery, promote healing, and treat pain associated with early osteoarthritis. To schedule an appointment, call Prosser Orthopedic Center at 509-786-5599 or learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. The best way to end your day. Friends, tonight at 11.05. Now, the morning sprint. It's now 5.50. It's time for your morning sprint in this 5 o'clock hour. Here are the top five local things you need to know this morning. Starting off, ballots are being mailed out today in Benton County, this ahead of the August 6th primary election. As always, it's important to sign your ballot and make sure your signature matches what's on file with the county. A logic and accuracy test will be performed tomorrow to test Benton County's voting equipment. A fire broke out at a Kennewick home near South Everett Place and South Fruitland Street last night. Fire officials say it began in the patio area of the home. The heat caused windows to break and the fire made its way inside, damaging the house. The Kennewick Fire Department says a quick response was key to getting the fire under control. An event supporting people in need will take place at the Union Gospel Mission in Pasco this afternoon. Free services include transportation to the St. Vincent de Paul Food Bank. Showers, haircuts, hygiene kits, and cooling kits. The community support and dinner event takes place from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. this afternoon. The city of Sunnyside selected its new city manager after a special meeting last night. City Council offered the job to Mike Gonzalez after a unanimous vote contingent on him accepting the role and going through contract negotiations. Gonzalez did accept the offer, and the goal is for the start date and contract signing date to be August 1st. And the city of Yakima has also selected its new city manager. City Council adopt, uh, announced Vicki Baker, the deputy director of the Yakima Valley Conference of Governments, will be taking over as Yakima city manager on August 8th. They announced this last night at the regular city council meeting. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. We're continuing to track these very light showers that earlier this morning, it was it was just in really Wheeler and Morrow counties. Now it looks like some of this is starting to spread up into Yakima County, although all of this looks pretty light for the time being. Also not tracking any lightning now, which was not the case just 45 minutes ago. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this in a motion with future cast. We'll stop this right around lunchtime. You can see just some some more widespread, fairly scattered low end chances for showers and thunderstorms. Looks like most of this should be out of here by about 5 p.m., although we could still have some lingering thunderstorms, especially around the bookends of our viewing area, which would be the Cascades and the Blue Mountains. And then in a Thursday, not tracking any thunderstorm chances at all, but with lightning over dry fuels, that's why the National Weather Service in Pendleton has gone with a red flag warning up until 5 p.m. this evening. So we will be tracking that potential for fire starts. For today, it will be about 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. Most of us will land above 100 degrees. It will be a little hazy out there just given the fires that are burning adjacent to this region. And then for tonight, 
We should be dry at this point. Temperatures either in the 60s or 70s, so a pretty mild slash warm evening. And tomorrow will continue to be pretty hot. We have a heat advisory that lasts until 10 p.m. this evening for the foothills of the Blues, but until 10 p.m. tomorrow evening for the lower Columbia Basin, until 10 p.m. Thursday. This is actually an excessive heat warning for the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys, and we'll continue to stay pretty hot hot after that for the Tri-Cities up around 110 by the time we get to Sunday. So this this extended period of heat will just kind of keep doing its thing. Of course, we're tracking the thunderstorm chances for today, but also some small chances in a Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Here's the seven day forecast for the Tri-Cities. Little thunderstorm chance for today. More hazy conditions into tomorrow and then just a lot of hot weather after that up around 110 degrees for Sunday. For Yakima, thunderstorm chance for today, another one for Monday, but points in between, very dry and very hot, especially for Sunday. For Hermiston, of course, that thunderstorm chance for today, and then we're tracking just a, a, lot of, a lot of hot weather, a lot of dry weather after that, up around 105 for Sunday. And then for Walla Walla, it's kind of the same thing, a little thunderstorm chance for today, not much doing after that, except for sunshine, haze, and heat. In your political headlines this morning, more details are emerging about 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, the gunman who attempted to assassinate former President Donald Trump. Officials say he was scheduled to work that day, but told his boss he needed the day off. That's because he had something to do. Authorities also say they found a bulletproof vest, three fully loaded magazines, and two remote-controlled explosive devices in his car. Other members from Donald Trump's family are expected to attend the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee today. Melania Trump, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner will be in attendance on Thursday night. Trump will formally accept the GOP nomination for president. In your business news, Bledsoe Wine Estates has made a big announcement. It's planning a new tasting room in the southern region of Walla Walla Valley. It'll be located off Peppers Bridge Road. Construction is set to begin in spring 2025. The headquarters for SpaceX is moving from California to Texas. Founder Elon Musk says he made the decision after California Governor Gavin Newsom signed legislation that prevents school employees from notifying parents if students request to use different pronouns. Musk says the new transgender law was the, quote, final straw. Health News Now, a new warning about products that look like your everyday snacks but contain a type of THC. The FDA and the Federal Trade Commission issued warnings to five companies that produce Delta-8 THC edibles. Regulators are concerned about the product packaging because it looks very similar to popular foods like Fruit Loop cereal and Chips Ahoy cookies. This week marks the two-year anniversary of the 988 hotline. The Suicide and Crisis Hotline has received more than 10 million calls, texts, and chats since it launched on in July of 2022. The hotline is part of the Biden administration's strategy to address what it calls the nation's mental health and substance abuse crises. Joe Bryant, the father of the late NBA great Kobe Bryant, has died. At 69, Joe, who was also known as Jelly Bean, had recently suffered a stroke. Bryant was a former basketball pro who was drafted 14th overall in the 1975 NBA draft by Golden State. His pro career included seasons with the Philadelphia 76ers, the San Diego Clippers, and later the Houston Rockets. Trending now, well, if it's possible there's life on Venus, they now have some good music. So NASA says it's transmitted Missy Elliott's song, The Rain, to Venus via radio antennas. <laughs> it took nearly 14 minutes for the song to travel about 158 million miles to the planet of love. Elliott posted to social media saying, quote, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. The artist plays with space icon, iconic, icons in her work often something NASA nodded to in a statement about the transmission. All right, so Jessica told me about this this morning and my first question was why? Why? You know, I don't know, maybe, I have no idea. Why Missy Elliott's song first? Why Missy Elliott? Who knows? Why there's so Venus? many questions we have, I but know. I mean, props to them, the people on Venus, you know, because there's no light detected there yet. They'll be jamming <laughs> Not out. Not that we know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if there are people there, you're right. There will some be plants jamming out. Celebrating. 
<laughs> with some music. I, I love that story though. I think it's so fascinating. It's I can't wait fun. to see what else they do. <laughs> yeah. Up next on Good Morning Northwest at 6, what starts as a call for a weapons report turns quickly into a SWAT standoff in Zilla. We have what happened. Plus the full report on the battle between the state of Washington and the Catholic Church. The exclusive from our very own Emily Goodell. Plus Chief Meteorologist Josh Culbreth will have your forecast. That is up first. We'll see you back here at 6. Shopping online for a purple mattress? We get it. With purple's unique gel flex grid and multiple foam layers, you'll experience effortless sleep. It's motion adaptive, temperature balanced,